Hello, my name is Alex De La Penta and I'm a technical support engineer at Red Hat. Today I'll be giving an overview on Subscription Asset Manager, also referred to as SAM. SAM is a new offering from Red Hat included as part of subscriptions for use with RHEL systems version 5.7 or later and 6.1 or later. The product itself can be installed on a RHEL 6.2 or later system. SAM is part of the Next Generation Entitlement Program. The program has a number of goals. First, to provide tooling to identify the exact subscriptions which are consumed by machines in your environment. When you purchase a Red Hat subscription, you are provided coverage for a given time with specific start dates and end dates. A contract number is also associated with that subscription. We want this data to be easily visualized on the customer portal, on the machines themselves, and also through on-premise management tools. The first offering from the entitlement program allowed this to be done through the customer portal and on machines, while the second offering is to provide on-premise subscription management tools. The second goal of the program is to expose Red Hat content and RPMs in both an X and a Y stream. For example, you can register a system to a RHEL 6 or RHEL 5 X stream, which represents the latest available version of a major release. Many users would like to tie the systems to a given Y stream representing a specific minor version, for example, a 6.1 machine or a 5.8 machine. The next generation entitlement tooling makes this possible because those Y releases become first class content streams that machines can be associated with. Finally, the program is designed to improve download performance. All the information that a machine needs to access the RPMs deployed via the cloud is installed on that machine meaning it does not need to go back to the central Red Hat data centers in order to authenticate access to those bits. Therefore, performance will be improved as there will be a direct connection from that machine to the cloud. Focusing on SAM, the main goal is to provide an on-premise subscription management tool. This is ideal for customers who cannot connect to RHN hosted and do not use RHN satellite as a primary system management tool. For example, smaller environments that may not have a robust system management need but want to move off of hosted. Or also for larger environments who have completely disconnected deployments and are using some management tool other than satellite. Some other benefits of SAM include providing a centralized subscription inventory reporting tool for many machines. So it becomes one console you can go to and access information about subscription usage across an entire enterprise. The tooling also enforces the per host virtualization pricing. So for example, with a RHEL plus 4 subscription that allows you to run 4 virtual guests on a physical host, this tooling allows for tracking and enforcement of that subscription license. And finally, SAM provides a single point of proxy connection between your machines and the Red Hat CDN, simplifying firewall management. It is important to note that while we use the term proxy, SAM does not do any type of content caching, for example like the RHN proxy product would do. SAM is simply aggregating the connection information so that there's only one machine that needs to connect out to the internet. SAM is typically deployed as an appliance or a small virtual or physical machine that is dedicated to being the on-premise management tool. It is composed of three main parts. There's the Catella project, which provides a UI, a REST API, and backend for the command line tools. Then there's the Candleprint project, which is the on-premise subscription engine. And finally, the Thumbslug project is responsible for taking locally generated certificates and translating them into certificates that the Red Hat CDN can make use of. These architectures and products are very similar to the CloudForm system engine product. Another goal from the engineering side was to make the transition from SAM to System Engine as seamless as possible. They use the same code base as SAM, which is a Catella project, so the look and feel and user experience will be exactly the same. This concludes the overview on SAM. For more information, visit the documentation section of the customer portal. Thanks for watching.